Okay. Hopefully I'll get the notification. Yeah, you will. Okay. I believe we are live. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. This is Ruth Kent. And um, gosh, I am just pleased beyond control here to share with you, present with you, um, be with you, Kathy, but um, to bring your light, your wisdom, your heart, um, just to have this time together and to bring your experience, your story um, about the Success Together program and um, just what this work has, has done. But let's start from the beginning. What do you say? Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, when you were introduced, when we were introduced together, it was that um, event um, with Mary Morsey and um, we got to be friends. And then, you know, I just, I offered it to you, but where were you at that time? And what were some of the things that said, you know what, I think I'm going to do this? Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, it was it was at an event. And I think at that point, we were on a similar journey of personal development of really um, gaining a greater awareness, a greater understanding of, of the power within. And when I connected with you, I was like, oh, my gosh, I just want to be around her. <laughs> So in my work, um, you know, as you know, I'm certified life mastery consultant through Mary and then certified in uh, one of Bob Proctor's programs. And the work that I do um, now at this stage in my life really requires me to continue on the journey myself. So to be a product of my own product. And when I saw in you, Ruth, and when you explained to me the Success Together program, I saw the opportunity to release things that I feel um, up until that point had been holding me back. Maybe they were old thoughts. You know, we are a composite of our genetics and our environment. And so messaging that we got, emotions that we felt growing up, experiences that we had, I think we're a sum total of that. And the way that I looked at the Success Together program, not only from a mindset standpoint, because studying with T. Harv Ecker um, and the success mindset, Mm -hmm. I, or the millionaire mindset, I thought to myself, you know what, this feels like it's the right component for what I have been missing. Like I knew there was something missing in my ability to release the past and to move forward. Um, and so I was drawn to that. I, I was curious about what is this that could possibly be something so simple yet so powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we talked about this, but, um, how you felt like you had dotted your I's and crossed your T's. And you had you talked about the two programs, but Kathy, I know you and I have both gone through multiple programs and a program called Life. <laughs> you know, I said, I may not have a degrees behind my name, but I sure have a lot of street smart, you know? And, and um, I was reading something this morning um, about resistance. Mm -hmm. and about leadership and you know they say 20 50 30 and 20 percent are right with you yay and 50 percent are on the fence and then there's 30 percent that no way not changing not going and I thought how much we're doing that within ourselves and not even knowing it yeah. you know one of the key things is to be aware of it but by the time the consciousness really becomes aware of some things, there's, there is a lot of opportunities like going by you. I, I, I often said that I felt like, um, oh, the, the parable about the flood where the guy is on the top of the mountain and, you know, God sends him this and, the, you know, well, and he dies and drowns and he gets to heaven and he says, you know, Lord, I thought you were going to help me. And he says, well, I sent you this. I sent you. And 
Yeah. I look back. I sent you a boat. I sent you a helicopter. <laughs> I sent the rescue team out and you didn't say yes. <laughs> and so many times I hold that intention. Help me to see what you've brought me to today. Yeah. yeah. Not defining it. Help me to see and, and be open to that. That's so true. You know, one of the, um, as I was thinking back on, I, I feel like I've known you my whole life. <laughs> and I think it was maybe a year and a half ago, maybe that we met. Um, yeah, it, I, and when you say that, I go, really? <laughs> yeah, you know, we did, uh, you know, you're talking about programs and how many programs are out there. And now with the internet, programs on the internet, click here, subscribe there. Um, if we're always in search of something rather than going within to know what resonates with me, what mm -hmm. resonates with, with where I am in my journey and what do I need for the next step? What do I need for my next quantum leap? What's going to support me in developing the level of awareness and consciousness to get to that next level? And when you put that intention out, you're already reaching up for the next level. Yes. Aligning and then, with that, which is already there. Yes. And, you know, the law of attraction, uh, when people say the law of attraction isn't real, I always laugh because I think to myself, you know, if, if we oh. just deny the law of gravity, do we do we not have our feet on the ground or... <laughs> Or the law of electricity, or if we plug in a light, is it not going to turn on? It's not the law of attraction. It comes from within. Mm -hmm. So if what we are seeking is seeking us. And I think at the point when I met you, I was seeking a new level of growth. It's, it wasn't for me. It wasn't about just enrolling in another program. It wasn't about reading a new book. It wasn't about, you know, attending another seminar. Is that it, it was about achieving and realizing in my life that freedom, the freedom mm -hmm. from emotional bondage. And I think for how many years, you know, when I went through my divorce, I went through counseling because I thought, oh my gosh, I don't want to pass this on to my son. How do I get this right? And what I found was that we kept talking about all the stuff that wasn't working. And so I was like, wait a minute, time out. That's not where I want to be. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward. And I think one of the things, uh, the greatest gifts of the Success Together program was it allowed me to really solidify, not blinders, but to really help keep me focused forward so that I wasn't always looking over my shoulder or wasn't bringing up old stuff that was constantly keeping me grounded in where I didn't want to be. Mm -hmm. And let me focus on the vision. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that any program takes time, space, and consistency. Mm -hmm. Is that right? And that's that's one of the enlightenments that I was given after working with this for a period of time. You know, why have I not made um, a retreat or a one day seminar or an online program? Mm -hmm. It wasn't designed that way. Mm -hmm. It's designed to give that time for that process mm -hmm. and to give them the tools to continue the process. Mm -hmm. And um, why did you open up or why did you feel, um, you know what, I want to do this again? It is, uh, you mentioned time, space, repetition, and anytime we want to change behavior, old behaviors um, or paradigms that no longer serve us, the only way to do that, there's one of two things. One is an emotional impact, like a 9-11 event. The other is time, space, repetition. So when the opportunity to came, came to take the class again, I thought to myself, you know what? I am ready for that next level growth. And how can I go deeper within so I can move forward without? Mm -hmm. And so the next level, having the awareness and having read the book the first time and then going back the second time was so much more powerful because I was a different person. Mm -hmm. So every exactly. time, you know, in, in every step that we make in our growth, Today, I'm not the same person I was yesterday or the day before or the day before. And when mm -hmm. I see you tomorrow or next week, I'm going to be a different person because I'm going to learn something new about myself. That's my intention. And so the environment that you create in Success Together, Ruth, uh, is one of safety. Um, it allowed me to be to test being vulnerable. Like I had never been in a place that, in my life where I could be vulnerable. I worked for 30 years in financial services, very much a man's world. 
um, you don't come in and evolve, you know, from a vulnerable state. I mean, that just doesn't work in that environment. Mm -hmm. um, grew up in a household where it really wasn't okay to share your feelings um, or to be dissatisfied with where you are to, to articulate that longing and discontent. Mm -hmm. And so what I found when I took success together was like, hey, there's a lot of people out there like me that want to grow that might have these old anchors that are keeping us pulled to the past. Yes. And, you know, anchors of unpleasant emotion that may have happened through an event. And so it takes away that emotional charge and helps us to, it helped me to get to a neutral place where I could say, you know what? Okay, that happened, but that does not define who I am today. Mm -hmm. But it's only through releasing that, emotion, that, that emotional charge with the, the emotion code body code that I was able to really move forward. It, it was a game changer for me. It really was. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Do you understand this work? You know, I do. Um, I feel like I understand it at a practical level. The, one of my beliefs is that everything is energy, that we mm -hmm. are energetic beings. Um, you know, when a person has a heart event, they get the, the electric paddles out. I mean, there's an electrical charge current running through, through our body. And I believe that we can go through traumas at all levels. It doesn't have to be a severe trauma, but even a minor trauma where that emotion can get lodged, where um, unpleasant emotion can be attached and kind of get stuck. It's like a kink in the hose or... For me, you know, I imagine trying to walk through life, like walking through the mud and how mm -hmm. laborious that was. Mm -hmm. And then I thought to myself, gosh, I feel like now I'm walking through an open field. Like there's opportunity everywhere. Mm -hmm. And um, before um, those charges, those um, paradigms, um, did they keep repeated stories for you? Yes. It kept Do you it. find that you're associated with that story anymore? Or are you now with the release of the work, with the program, um, able to write your own story each day? Oh, wow. Absolutely. The, you know, the way I, even when I, uh, Mary says, send a kind glance to things that, you know, may have not been a pleasant experience or maybe a person that's not, you know, um, a, a, a welcome uh, addition in your life, but, but sometimes, you know, when we deal with people of all shapes and sizes and sending a kind glance and really coming from a place of forgiveness, I had to forgive myself first for mm -hmm. not being perfect or for not being everything that my mom or my dad wanted me to be, but for honoring who I am. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the most uh, joyful, exuberant feelings that I could ever imagine. And, you know, in addition to that thought, it's not only who I am, it's who I get to become. Yeah. You know, when we open up to that, not this identity, well, this is who I am, you know, because sometimes we're still stuck on that 1% ego on that. And we're really not opening the doors to who you can become. Is that going to be uncomfortable? Is this a tool that can help in that journey as well, moving forward? What do you feel? Oh, absolutely. I, you know, the past does not define our future. I knew that. I knew that, you know, in, a, um, in my conscious mind, but I didn't believe that. Mm -hmm. I thought, okay, if I believe that my past does not equal my future, then why is the same stuff presenting itself to me? Why am I attracting you know, the same types of people or the same types of situations, I knew that there was a missing component. And, and I, think oh, I, told you, I think I told you this, that I had the opportunity to meet Dr. Dr. Brad and just talking to him and really understanding like where this all came from, how divinely orchestrated the emotion code, body code technique or methodology is. And I think that there's, there's room for various modalities in our lives. But unless we get rid of that internal stuff that's holding us back, 
Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we can learn a new program, we can read a new book and, and learn a new mindset, but is that mindset going to be adopted by the subconscious mind without removing those, those old files? The way I looked at the motion code body code was I was making room for all the good stuff to come in. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I find interesting about it as well, mm -hmm. uh, the program, and this is an observation. I went in with intention to help individuals to raise to their higher level, the, the true essence of who they are, the greatest version of who they are through this process. And what I find in the um, programs, and you've gone through twice, is that people can come from completely different places, different, you know, you could say levels in their life or, but, mm -hmm there's a harmony we all learn from each other we're all and this is where the name came success together but what what you will find is that also there's like a template i may work on but the reality is not any program not any session we have together is going to be the same and why is that is because we are presenting or we're at that level where you're at to raise you up and people have shared um, from the program that they liked this, the safety within the, they felt, but also the one-on-one -on -one programs, the one-on-one -on -one personal touch. Um, what do you feel about that in relationship to programs you've been in or what? What did that offer you as an individual? Yeah, it was, you know, the collaboration with the group was really important for me. Um, it was almost like a light in humanity to say, you know what, these people are striving for more. I think yeah. at the heart of every person, every person wants to do better. And even when people say that they're, they're okay with the way things are, I don't believe that that's true. I believe that they're saying that because they don't understand the next step. Mm -hmm. they, don't they don't understand that there is more in them. And one of the things about the group environment and success together was not only understanding that, hey, everybody has a challenge, but you know what? It takes courage uh, and it takes action to, to mm -hmm. get to that next level, whatever that next step or next level is. And so the group aspect for me was important to know, mm -hmm. hey, these are successful people, or these are people that want to be successful. They come from all walks of life. And then the one-on-one, -on -one, really, you know, as you addressed each one of our concerns, it was so personal. So, you know, it, you had the benefit of the group, and then you had that one-on-one, -on -one, I had that one-on-one -on -one with you to say, you know what, Ruth, this is what I'm feeling in my body, or this is, seems to be a pattern that keeps coming up in my life. And it, almost put me in a situation where I had to be more aware of what was going on with me so that I could really get pinpointed with you during our one on one time in the class and say, yeah, I think this, you know, releasing this is going to help me get to the next step. Or sometimes you have um, presented and, you know, others as well is that mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. But this is, and we're finally focusing on and shifting from the problem to this is what I want. Yeah. And so what we do with muscle testing, not I knowing, with muscle testing going into the subconscious that is, you know, driving your bus, <laughs> you know, right. to get you on the right path, you know, <laughs> what is blocking you mm -hmm. from? And it's so amazing that sometimes we can have something that was passed on inheritively. And you've been living with this pattern, this belief your whole life. And um, what would you want to share with somebody that is looking at this? You know, I have a, a phrase and I'm not trying to simplify it, but it's really true. My willingness is my wisdom. Every day I want to wake up and be willing to be my best. I listened to Eckhart Tolle for six months, six years, um, the power of now thinking by osmosis or something that I was going to know how to be in the moment and be my best. That's where the miracles happen. By just going with that intention, what happened? The emotion code, body code came into my life. 
but yeah. it was through a physical crisis, but it was that deep willingness, desire. Mm -hmm. And you and I are, are in a mastermind going over through the uh, Think and Grow Rich. Mm -hmm. How important is that desire? So, <laughs> you know, that burning flame. <laughs> so um, what would you share as we close here today? What would you share with somebody looking at this? I would share, I, I, I would say this, if for anybody that wants to achieve more, and it could be, it, you know, we typically we talk about money because you can measure money and really truly, you know, Bob Parker says that there is no replacement for money in the area in which it's used. But there's so much more to life, relationships, our health and well being. Think about all the people making resolutions this January that they want to get healthier, they want to get fit, mm -hmm. uh, particularly after being, you know, sedentary for most of 2020. Um, you know, what I would say is this, to move forward, something to replace and to put more good in your life, something has got to give, something has got to go. It's like trying to stuff more new clothes in a closet and you still have clothes there from 20 years ago. Like you have, <laughs> you have to get, you, you know, we, we must get the old stuff out. It's not a question about talking about the old stuff or, you know, regression. I, I mean, I'm not knocking any other modality here, but for mm -hmm. me, talking about the past only kept me tied to the past. I wanted to be free. Awesome. I wanted, you know, cut the cord from the past and let me move forward. And that's what Success Together does. So I would say for anyone who is listening to this recording, who would love a new lease on life, who wants to cut the ties from the past. And most importantly, the emotion is what keeps us back there. Mm -hmm. It's the thoughts and the feelings that drive our actions back there. Take yeah. success together. It's, it's an amazing program. And I guarantee at the end of 10 weeks, you'll be a different person for sure. Mm -hmm. Probably a little uncomfortable because we haven't been there before, but it's so worth it. <laughs> you know, oh when we get to that other side. Um, but that's, I love the, you know, I mean, you, you provide that structure of support yeah. uh, to make the change. You know, when people yeah. say they don't want to change, I don't believe that they don't want to change. They don't like to be changed, mm -hmm. but I think everybody is looking for positive changes in their lives. And this is a great structure of support that you provide Ruth for, for people, not only to understand themselves better, but to be free to take the next step in what they do want toward what they desire. Well, thank you for that. And um, there's a phrase that came up, um, Zig Ziglar, love that man, love, love him. I was fortunate to meet him uh, many times. And uh, what a great soul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, he said, help more people get what they want, and you'll get what you want. Yeah. And Kathy, I have seen that in you. Mm -hmm. And may I um, shine back to you. People get to know Kathy. She has a great deal of love to give and more so now than ever, because she's ignited the love for who she is and for the journey that she has and be a part of her journey as well. Thank and thank you. And, um, I, think I we want have people who have joined us. Oh my goodness. I'm just looking at the chat. You're going to oh. have to follow up, Ruth. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hi, Trisha, Paula, Patty. Oh, <laughs> Your friends thank you. <laughs> yes. And um, any comments were made, we'll be following up with you. Um, thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for those that are, you know, um, taking and listening to this afterwards. But I want to remind people of an opportunity I'm giving to you, just you individuals that are uh, listening to this, to hear the message and to open that willingness to your igniting your flame, your desire, your divine right. And that's to be the best person you get to be. And um, success together. I'm offering a coupon. It's FB special. And it's going to be 24 hours on golden friday so be with us tomorrow um we're going to be talking about yes and <laughs> what else is there what goes beyond and um just to talk a little bit about that and move into 
Friday, which is going to be AMA. Like I said, it's not American Medical Association. It is Ask Me Anything. And we'll have a panel of attendees that um, from five years ago to, you know, some of them more recent. And what, you know, go ahead and ask us your questions. If you have questions you want to, you know, share ahead of time, please message me. We'll bring them up. In the meantime, have that blessed day and be your best with much love. We thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Ruth. And thank, thank you for your light. Have a blessed day. Bye now.